Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Bia and I am truly passionate about makeup. This is officially my suggestion for Valentine's Day this year. I am going to do this gorgeous glam with you guys. I wanted something girly, but I definitely wanted to add a little bit of spice to it. So I found the perfect balance using rosy eyeshadows and the smoky eyeliner. Because guys, if you know me, you know that I like dramatic and more sexy eye makeup looks. So that's exactly what I came up with. I feel like this is right on point for what I wanted. So if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video in case you haven't already. Truth being told, I have been playing with a lot of rosier eyeshadows lately. And to be specific, I have been using this eyeshadow palette quite a lot. It was sitting in my drawer for the longest time and I wasn't even touching it. But all of a sudden, I got this urge to play with these eyeshadows. And I remembered why I love this eyeshadow palette so much. Honestly, to me personally, this is one of the best naked eyeshadow palettes. Just because of the color story, I feel like it has so many rosy shades and all of them go so well together. And I don't know, I just love the color story of this palette and obviously the formula as well. And I have been doing a lot of smoky eyes, so I decided to mix that with a little bit of spice and come up with a Valentine's look with this type of shade. So yeah, let's just jump right into the look. But first, I'm going to do my complexion because as you know, guys, I have been doing my complexion before my eye makeup. I just feel like it is easier to see how everything is coming along if you already have your base on. Guys, this is new and you can already see where it is at right now it is so frustrating because i go through foundations so quickly i am going to start by going in with my foundation brush and then i'm going in with my sponge and do you guys know meredith i think that's how you say her name but anyways that girl on tiktok that goes in with a ton of foundation Honestly, I have been counting the pumps of foundation that I have been applying lately and I am not too far from that. I think that she goes in with like 8 pumps of foundation and I am not that far guys. Sometimes I go in with 7, sometimes even 8. But it also depends a lot, like whenever you are going in with a sponge, the sponge absorbs it so much that it makes it kind of necessary to apply a little bit more. That's why I have been going with my foundation brush first and only then with my sponge because if I go just with my sponge, it will absorb so much that I will just constantly be using more and more foundation to get my whole face covered. I am now going in with my Real Techniques sponge and guys, my sponge is absolutely destroyed. My restock is on its way, but it is not arriving until Tuesday and so at this point I'm just praying that this one doesn't like fall apart I'm just waiting for the moment that it just opens up and I have to sponges. <laughs> my lips are so dry, but I'm running out of my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I have to order restock. I'm going in with some of my maracuja lip juicy juicy lip <laughs> this is so comfortable and i feel like it kind of hydrates the lips i don't know if that's the purpose but it does and i love it so much and it smells incredible honestly when i first got this product this is the travel size by the way i wasn't really a fan like i didn't use them at all i never talked about them but then like i don't know what happened in my brain but i started to love the product I, I really don't know why but like sometimes i hate products and all of a sudden i love them it cannot be just me right but yeah, I have been using it like a lot, especially on more no makeup makeup days in which I want something light and comfortable. So I just line my lips with the lip pencil from MAC in the shade Bro, which is my go-to pink lip pencil. And then I go in with this or with any other gloss and that's it. But I have definitely been loving to use this one because it is a little bit more pigmented than a regular gloss and it is very, very comfortable. For bronzer, I am going in with the usual. I have been using this one nonstop and the hole in the bottom just keeps on growing and growing and i am not ready to repurchase this this is so expensive guys i love nars and i love high-end products but like the price point can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming to me personally there is nothing about this formula that i can point as a flaw and guys i am so sorry about my annoying voice but i am kind of sick or getting sick i don't know what the hell is going on but my body is not doing so well at this point and my voice is definitely the first one being affected in all of this and by the way i didn't mention but the foundation brush that i was using was from Nirei Beauty and this brush is from Japanese. It is the Contour Blender. This is by far my favorite brush that I've ever used to do this. The fact that it's not too dense, not too fluffy, not too big, not too small, it's just like perfect in all the ways that I need it to be perfect. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's how I would describe it. A little bit in here. I use this bronzer in here to add like the lightest sculpt because this bronzer is not too warm. If it is too much of a warm shade, it will just look weird instead of like shaping your face a little bit. If you want to shape shift, you gotta go in with contour and not bronzer. I feel 
like contour has been like popularized for like the wrong reasons it kind of seems like nobody is happy with their face features and they just want to shape shift everything and just is not necessary bronzer yes it, it is good because it brings back dimension it brings back color you know your face is not even it's not like just one shade as you can pretty much imagine that's why we always look so pale after foundation but, like contour involves a lot more technique and it is literally about shape shifting parts of your face so i don't know it has been way too popularized for no freaking reason and it can very easily go wrong just spilling the tea that i'm drinking if there is one thing in this life that i love is tea and no i do not mix it with milk before i go on with my monologue this is the concealer that i'm going to use this is from zoeva and it is the authentic skin perfector retouch concealer as i was saying i do not mix milk on my tea personally i find it disgusting don't get me wrong like i hate flavored drinks so tea with milk for me it's like flavored milk i don't know if that makes sense to you but i just can't i'm just mixing these two shades because as i always say one is too light another one is too dark and right in the middle is where i land i am so full of cat hair but i think i have a new theory of why i am constantly getting cat hair on my face oh my god i forgot about blush no but i'm going in with a happy one never mind no 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 i'm going in with blush first as i was saying i forgot about blush so i'm going in with a rare beauty one in the shade happy i feel like my camera has been playing a lot of games with me first of all the white balance is completely off sometimes even though it is set to a specific white balance and if i'm talking like another language to you please allow me to vent and second of all sometimes i'm showing products and it just refuses to focus and guys i am really short-sighted so i cannot see much of what my camera is focusing i just have faith and sometimes while i am editing i realize that i barely focus on the products and sometimes i have to reshoot things oh i completely forgot to finish my story but yeah i have a new theory of why i constantly get cat hair on my face which is pretty much the fact that i have my heater right next to me and do you know like how this is a little bit of science okay do you know how hot air is less dense so it goes up i've been finding a lot of cat hair flying as well so that's my theory for now of why i get so much cat hair on my face constantly but am i going to change the placement of the heater no because my house is currently feeling like antarctica and i am not a cold person like my dream is to live in la not only because of my occupation and because i want to pursue this long term but also because i love the weather like i love the heat like i lived in the uk for like a few months because i was an interchange student for a semester and guys when i tell you that I suffered. Listen, I was cold all the time. I was so tense that my back was constantly hurting. Anyways, now actually moving on to concealer. I am not checking if this is well blended, so let's just all play together. And I know that I have a little bit of blush on my lids, but I'm not mad because I'm going in with pink eyeshadows. So if anything, that will help them stand out a little bit more. And I feel like I'm running out of this concealer and I am not very thrilled about it. Now that I look like an absolute lunatic, let's blend this out. Listen, this sponge is screaming and crying for retirement and I'm just forcing it to still perform. And like, do you know how when sponges get a little bit too old, they just start not being able to blend things properly and evenly? That's what's happening with this one. I haven't used this eye brightener in a very long time. It is is also from Zoeva and it is the Retouch Elixir Brightening and Correcting Pen. You have it in this brightening shade but you also have in the correcting colors. I think I bought this because this was the neutral brightening shade and I am always so scared of buying like warmer concealers even though my skin undertone is neutral but closer to the warmer undertone as well because sometimes those just look a little bit too much on me i'm just going to blend it on this inner part because i want to create kind of this gradient first round of setting spray and guys i finally bought my restock on this one from nyx this is the one with the dewy finish and now i'm just going to let it dry now that this is completely dry i'm going in with some setting powder this is the easy bake from huda beauty and just for reference i have it in the shade pound cake i have been finding myself using this brush from zoeva this is the 106 the powder brush like non-stop it is so soft and it is so big and i just love the way that it applies the powder it totally does not disrupt the makeup underneath and i'm just going to do some tapping motions and by the way guys thank you so much for the love and support that you have been showing me on tiktok as well my tiktok community has been growing so much and if you don't follow me over there i am going to leave my handle in here but i also leave my handles in the description all the time 
so don't forget to check it out because if you like my content in here think of this but daily and in shorter videos <laughs> i will say though that i never thought that i would prefer tiktok over instagram but if i'm being completely honest i have been loving tiktok and kind of hating instagram in a way because i am so sick of the aesthetics which is kind of ironic because you have a lot of that and the professionalism on youtube like everything is very curated in a way but i feel like on youtube you get to be authentic when you are talking because it is kind of harder to put on a facade for like god knows how long people film for like i film for two hours i feel like it would be impossible for me to pretend to be somebody else for two freaking hours and i don't know i just feel like you get to know people a lot better you get to know their vibe their personality if you vibe with them or not and on tiktok even though it is shorter content i feel like you get a lot of that too but if you are a chatty girl like me like three minutes is not a long time guys here is how my editing process works so first of all i start editing one thing from beginning to end and then i have to remove time i always end up with six minute videos and then i am like trimming them down to three minutes because like six minutes just doesn't match the attention spam that people have on tiktok you know now for bronzer i'm going in with the usual which is this one from urban decay this is the beach bronzer in the shade sunkissed and this one also has a massive hole in it i am so curious about urban decay's new concealer it is called quickie like if you think about it like brands really like to bring that part of life into makeup i mean think about nara's product names and even urban decay with all the naked collection i see y'all okay listen powder bronzer brings me back to life i love creamy bronzer but i never apply it fully to the potential of the bronzer that i want to achieve and when i apply my powder bronzer everything looks so diffused because i am building things by layers and it just all comes together and it gives me the most flawless complexion listen and no complaints here just applying a little bit on the sides of the nose. I am going off camera to do my brows and I will be right back. Now for blush, I'm taking this one from Sephora collection. This is a colorful matte blush in the shade Flirt It Up. And I'm just going to apply a little bit. I am going for a pink makeup look and I just love to wear blushes that match because it makes everything look so cohesive. Moving on to the eye makeup, I'm going to start by doing a smoky eyeliner. I'm going to try to keep this one very, very thin. And I'm going to use this black pencil. This is from Zoeva. It is the Limitless Shy Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Trust. And going to try to keep this as thin as possible because even though i i want to add a little bit of spice i don't want to add a dramatic amount of spice i'm going to smoke it out as i go to make sure that i don't go overboard with it i am just going to slightly diffuse it on the edge and honestly i love these pencils they are so easy to work with Okay guys, I am going in with an eyeliner pen, this one is from Benefit, right on the outer edge just to define and add a little bit more depth on that outer part. And now, moving on to the eyeshadow palette, let me just show you a close-up of the eyeshadows that it brings. I mean, it is so beautiful, I truly love the color story of this. And taking a 228 from Zoeva, which by the way has been my favorite blending brush of all time, I am going to apply Feels. This is a baby pink matte eyeshadow all over my crease. I am going to try not to blend it too much with the black because it can kind of change the shade of this eyeshadow and I really don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to try to be as cautious as I possibly can within all of my clumsiness. These eyeshadows blend so well, guys. Honestly, this formula is incredible. When I was getting into makeup, I was always using like rosier shades, especially because my first and for a while only eyeshadow palette was full of that type of tones, but I truly love them. But then for a hot minute, I stopped and I was only playing with brown shades. You guys know how much I am into like bronzier looks, but now I have been getting back into this type of eyeshadows. Guys, I am going to use this brush. Please ignore the fact that it's blue. It is actually stained, but it's clean. And I think I'm going to add Devilish, which is this deep berry shade, on my outer V for that extra depth. I'm just going to start tapping it. I love this brush for this because it gives me a ton of precision, but it's actually really good to blend. I want to build a softer transition in between the eyeliner and the eyeshadow, so I am taking Privacy, which is pretty much a very deep brown shade, but it has like this red undertone to it. And I'm going to press it right on the edge of the eyeliner. And I'm also going to use it to add a 
little bit of depth next to my lashes. Yep, this is exactly what I was looking for. I am going to use that same eyeshadow privacy to build the inner corner eyeliner. I'm not really sure if this is going to be dark enough. No, I need a black eyeshadow. I am taking the Master Mats just to use the black eyeshadow and I'm going to draw that inner corner eyeliner. Now off to the shimmer. I am going to apply Bang Bang on the lid. I really want this to be a rosy makeup look. And by the way, I'm using a Morphe brush to apply the eyeshadow. The highlighter is going to make such a big difference. I'm just going in with my finger to increase the payoff of the shimmer. Like seriously, no brush compares to the finger. Blending out the edge. I am going to apply my highlighter before the last round of setting spray because I am going to be using this one from Rare Beauty. And guys, this is so insanely pigmented that I definitely don't want to have my skin humid because it will pick so much product and I don't want to look like a gold medal. But yeah, this is in the shade Mesmerize and this has been a favorite of mine for so long. For it to look a little bit more subtle, I am going to apply it on drier skin. Like this is just a little bit of highlighter. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It is actually insane. I'm also going to do my lips before my setting spray. I have actually been doing that quite a lot recently because I feel like with the setting spray, my skin gets so slippery that it's very easy to mess up the lining of my lips. Now taking a pencil brush, I am taking the highlighter towards the beginning of my lid. This pencil brush is way too old old and messed up so i'm going in with a new one this will open up the eyes so much and the fact that the highlighter is pink will just make everything look very cohesive and i have been loving to do this i'm going to keep it very subtle on the lips so i'm going to start by lining them using this mac pencil in the shade brawl this is a favorite of mine and it has been for years like this the product just grips better to the skin now for lipstick i'm going in with a soft matte lip cream from nyx in the shade abu dhabi this is definitely one of my go-to's and i actually need a restock on this one last round of setting spray and i'm going in with the same one i am now going off camera to wait for this to dry and to apply some false lashes because i feel like that will definitely complete the look Okay guys, listen, applying these false lashes was a complete journey for me. They are getting old and like all the lashes that I use, whenever they are getting old because they have such a thin strip, they start lifting the inner corner like no matter what I do, as soon as I look somewhere else, the inner corner just goes like poof. So yeah, it was a journey. I had to reapply this side like three times. Is it looking its best? Probably not. Is it looking acceptable? Yes, so we are going to play with acceptable today. But yeah, guys, that is it for this glam. I don't know if I should apply gloss. Should I? Let me just apply gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Form in the shade Sweet Mouth. This is a favorite of mine. I have had this for the longest time and I just love everything about it. Especially the smell, like, it smells so good. I need the glow, you know? Let me just reapply a little bit of the blush, though. Listen, I applied the blush, like, so many hours ago because I had a lunch break and then I had to stop for a minute because I am getting sick and I wasn't feeling so well and I am not here to give you guys bad vibes. So I took a break, took some medication, waited for it to do its thing. This is the final glam. I am going to insert the video like for you guys to see in detail the makeup look. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. And I honestly am so excited for Valentine's Day. I am planning this date and I cannot wait because my love language is definitely quality time. And if there is something that me and my boyfriend have been lacking is quality time. But by the way, guys, if you know your love language, let me know in the comments which one it is because I always find so fascinating to kind of figure out how people feel the most appreciated and loved and also let me know your plans for this one as well and yeah guys before you leave this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to leave this video like in case you guys haven't already and in case you enjoy my content here's a playlist full of videos that i am sure that you guys are going to love as well bye guys and i will see you on my next video